This is Belkis Aldois and her daughter Sidra. In 2016, Belkis won a lottery that she was sure would change her life. She was a newlywed, living in Yemen, in her fourth year of university, and soon to be pregnant. That's when she learned she won the United States Diversity Visa Lottery, also known as the Green Card Lottery. The Diversity Visa Lottery is a program that was signed into law by George H.W. Bush as part of the Immigration Nationality Act of 1990. It is the most comprehensive reform of our immigration laws in 66 years. And the program now is intended to increase immigrants from countries that typically don't have a lot of individuals coming into the U.S. And it's to add to the racial diversity uh, of the United States. Belkis was one of about 12.4 million applicants for the 2017 Diversity Visa Lottery, which grants up to 50,000 visas each year. Her chances of winning a little bit more than 0.4%. But her good luck soon turned. In January 2017, his first week in office, former President Donald Trump announced a ban on people from seven Muslim-majority countries, including Yemen. Meanwhile, Belkis and her husband were selling their furniture and jewelry and borrowing thousands of dollars. The U.S. Embassy in Yemen was closed due to the war, so they had to travel to Malaysia, a 4,000-mile journey, where, despite the travel ban, they were still scheduled for an interview at the U.S. Embassy. Soon after her interview, Belkis got an email that her visa was ready and her husband's application was still processing. But then, Belkis says that after her second interview, she spent months answering the embassy's questions and being told to wait. Then, in September 2017, the window to obtain her visa expired. Three and a half years later, Belkis lives in Istanbul with her three-year-old daughter, Sidra. Her husband fled by foot to Europe a year and a half ago, hoping to find work abroad. He's now stuck in this refugee camp in Serbia. In our work with these green card lottery owners, we noticed that there, there is a, a common trend, and that is they've accrued a significant amount of debt. The prior administration could have said, we're not providing these visas because of the ban. Don't leave Yemen, don't leave Syria, don't leave wherever you're at. Thank you, but you're not qualified. But they didn't do that. They did provide that hope, and now it's the responsibility of this current administration to right that wrong and provide them an opportunity to come into the U.S. On his first day in office, President Joe Biden signed an executive order that put an end to the travel ban. And his administration promised to develop a proposal to reconsider applicants who were denied entry to the U.S. because of it. But since Belkis's case was never officially denied because of the ban, it's unlikely Biden's proposal would help her.